Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. My name's Tanvi, if you're new here, this is gonna be another week in my life. Firstly, sorry that my hair actually looks like a five-year-old. I have just washed it and I need to style it, so please just ignore that. But this is gonna be another week in my life and it's not gonna be just an ordinary week. I have my knee operation in 10 days from today. So it's kind of gonna be like a countdown, but also because once I have my operation, I'm literally gonna be in a wheelchair. I'm gonna be on crutches for a while. I'm gonna be very much out of action. I really wanted to make sure that I was making the most of the last 10 days leading up to my operation. I probably actually made the most of the last like two months knowing that I was having this up anyway, but I literally got back from Barcelona yesterday, straight back to work today. And I am working like all of the days leading up to my op, my operations on a Saturday and I'm working up until the Friday before. But I do need to do a COVID test and self isolate three days before my operation. This vlog and like the next week of shenanigans is gonna be a week up till when I need to isolate, which is next Wednesday. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoy the vlog. Sorry for the really weird angle guys, I'm just getting ready. So I thought I would jump on the vlog. So the week of fun shenanigans has begun. Um, I'm going to see my friends pre, I'm literally sorry I'm speaking to half of you right now, I mean half of me is speaking to you, um, I'm going to see my friends pre, you guys will all probably know these people at this point, uh, Nikita, um, and then a couple other girls are coming as well, we're just going to like a local dessert place, um, but yeah i'm just excited to see my friends my friends can i just say if any of you are watching this they've just all been so supportive like because of my operation they just know like how hard it's going to be for me because i am quite an outgoing person and then just like not being able to do anything is going to hit me quite hard so they're just making me have like a week of fun and like doing loads of stuff with me so yeah tonight i'm seeing them i'm also just watching this show called like single and ready to mingle like mingle i don't know what it's called it's on itv um it's basically like replace love island now um but it's basically like half the guys on there are in relationships and half of them are single and they have to one of them wins if the girl likes them the most but like this just completely normalizes like cheating like why does it why does it is it okay for guys to go on a show, a dating show, and they have a girlfriend? And why is that so normal? Like, I don't get it. Also, if my foundation looks terribly light for me, it's because I'm literally so tanned from Portugal and then Barcelona. But I promise in, like, normal lighting, it doesn't look as, like, contrast as it does there. Um, I also promise I will do, like, a makeup routine for you guys at some point. But I just don't really feel like I'm that good at makeup. And I can do my own makeup. I definitely can't like give you guys advice on how to do yours but i can do that so let me know if you want me to do that anyway i'm gonna focus on getting ready because nikki's coming to pick me up in half an hour and i look like this so i'll check in with you guys in a bit okay guys this is the final outfit literally such a simple look just some cycling shorts some chunky trainers a sweatshirt so it's nothing special and i don't know when you guys are gonna see this but currently it's literally a heat wave like it's so hot it's eight o'clock and i'm sweating um in london so i'm not going to be cold or anything in these shorts i just wanted to show the makeup in like proper light um my bathroom mirror has like the best lighting so i'm just going to show it here but yeah this is like my everyday 15 i would say 15 minute makeup look i'm literally not even wearing eyeliner i just use the mess i make from the mascara to like make it look like i'm wearing eyeliner um and literally just lip gloss and some bronzer and some highlighter and that is it like we're good to go um i'm honestly sweating so i hope nikki gets here quickly so i can like step outside and get some fresh air next time i see you i will be with nikki and i will be harassing her because i need to remember to vlog all right catch you in a bit bye my head Oh wait, can, oh, I wasn't even, can we do that again? Give me a sec. <laughs> Legit, I'm just here looking at the menu. You're you not know. in it, no one wants you to be in the floor. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Say something nice about me. A she has banging legs. Yeah, do yeah. you need a question of me? Oh my god, I can't help you. Like, you're gonna get so trash. Men are trash. Men are trash. Men are trash. You know what? You know what? You know what? Like, I just think 
they need to have a <laughs> out. Oh, I just think it's so disrespectful. Yeah. And yeah. wait, what did you even say? Yeah. Wait, what was the topic? I said men need to have some respect. Yeah, okay. men and trash was not the topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but men are trash is no, they're not. I don't believe. I don't believe men are trash. I don't believe. I don't believe women are trash. Do you believe some men are trash? Some, but I don't think it's important not to generalise because I believe in inclusive women are as well. <laughs> I believe in inclusivity. Oh, does that way? I believe in inclusivity. I believe in some men are trash. <laughs> Exhibit. <A. laughs> Why do you pretend to hate me in every single vlog? Guys, I, what do you mean? My heart is in hell. No, I have a problem. <laughs> Guys, we're having a debate where the girls can go out with guys that are shorter than them. It's fine. It's absolutely Is it though? Is it? Is it though? Me? No. <laughs> That's it. It's just a thing. Clearly it's a problem for her. <laughs> How do you feel about this, Rage? I believe in equality. <laughs> Shut up! What does that have to do with the Hey guys, so today I am off for a girls like dinner and drinks night. We're going to Scion Lounge, which is quite like a Instagram famous place. I've just never been. It looks really nice. I've heard that the sushi and stuff is really good. So I'm excited for that. Um, it's Friday today. Yesterday was Thursday. I had a work social. And um, one, I was just in the biggest rush, so I just didn't film anything. But two, um, it was a work social, so I can't really like whip my phone out to be like, hey guys, you wanna be on my vlog? Like, it was just one of them ones where it's like, I like to keep my professional work life professional. And because I virtually onboarded, I was actually meeting a whole new bunch of people for the first time. So I just didn't wanna give off that impression that like, like YouTube and social media is like my main thing because it's not like my full-time job is my main thing. Basically, I didn't film it and we went for a really nice Thai dinner and then electric shuffle, which is so fun. There's one in London Bridge and one in Canary Wharf. So if any of you work there, it's such a good idea for a work social. So yeah, tonight I'm going to Scion and I will obviously bring you guys along with me, but I just wanted to give you an update. I'm wearing this like Club L white dress with just this coat. The weather is absolutely miserable outside. So I'll catch you guys when I'm there. <laughs> this is what happens when you come out with makeup artists. Yeah, man. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Vegetables. Hey guys, so today is Saturday and I have a baby shower today. I've gone with like this midi pleated skirt and this kind of like white top. But yeah, it's really like a nice summery outfit. The weather is gorgeous outside today. So I'm really excited just to be out in the garden, good people, good food. Um, so I'm only going for a few hours for that because then Sophia, my makeup artist, is coming over to my house to do my makeup for a very special event tonight. I've basically been invited to like host a night at a club and I can bring like a few of my friends and like get a table and have a nice little champagne shower kind of thing. So we're doing that and I'm making it kind of like my big send off before my operation because my operation is this time next week. So I'm doing that tonight and I'm really going all out. Like I'm fully dressing up. I'm obviously getting Sophia to do my makeup. So I'll show you the finished look once that's all happened. Um, but I'm so excited. I was feeling a bit down about it because loads of my close, close girls can't come because I literally decided to do this no more than a week ago. So I was feeling a bit down because a lot of my close friends can't come. But then we have managed to get like quite a good group together. So it should be really fun um, and hopefully like I am in one piece because I don't really drink that much anymore and I'm definitely going to be drinking tonight because it is literally my last night out. So wish me luck and hopefully you see me vlogging tonight and I'm in one piece and you see me tomorrow because then you know I survived. Um, if not, then just hope that you see me soon. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. And so yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, hopefully I'll try and vlog a bit of the baby shower, but like I wanna respect my family's privacy and stuff because none of them are like 
social media people. But yeah, I'll keep you up to date on today, but it's gonna be a very, very good day. I'll be good tonight, I promise, of vlogging until my laughing. I'll be good tonight and then you see the end of the clip <laughs> of me dropping a glass. <laughs> odds, on, odds on who's going to get more drunk tonight, me or you? Definitely. Last Definitely. time I was out with him, he paid, tried to pay with a Nando's card. I was spiked. <laughs> yeah, I was spiked. He thinks he was spiked, but really just can't handle his drink. But anyway, this is the makeup by Sophia today. I think she smashed it. with filming and stuff just because I've had a lot going on so I just didn't really pick up the camera I haven't really done my hair so please like, excuse the amount of grease that is currently in it but yeah last night I went for like a really nice family dinner at a restaurant in Rice Lips so if anyone lives like near West London um it was an Indian restaurant it was so nice it's brand new um the interior was amazing I'll try to put some pictures and stuff the food was so good so that was like an invite dinner so I took all my family and just went on like a nice family meal <laughs> Wow. Thank you. I am literally getting to my isolation period, which is tomorrow. Um, so tonight is literally like my last day of freedom. So I'm going into the office. I'm working from Canary Wharf today. And then I'm going out for dinner and drinks with a couple of my friends. And I am just like, gonna have a nice lovely last supper and um, the weather is absolutely horrific so i was really hoping to film a bit of like canary wharf and like living the corporate london girl life and stuff to show you but 
it's so miserable so I'd rather just like wait till it's a nicer day and I also don't have permission to film in my office so I won't be able to do that anyway I've got a covid test from 8 30 tomorrow morning and I'm isolating after that so this is probably like the last you're gonna see of me like looking mildly acceptable because tomorrow I'm isolating and then I'm literally just gonna focus on my operation, focus on my recovery. And I am gonna be vlogging it, but like, I'm just gonna be looking like an absolute mess. I'm gonna be in so much pain. I'm probably gonna be really upset a lot of the time. And it's probably gonna be a bit more of a difficult and emotional vlog than like my normal outgoing, cheery, tamby type of vlog. So I'm kind of just like trying to mentally and physically prepare myself now for like the operation phase of the year. Um, I'm feeling really anxious and also let me show you one sec. Sorry, I just went to go get this stuff. So yeah, I actually got sent like all of this kind of like information and it's just really overwhelming because like there's a very long to-do list of things I like need to take and do. And obviously with COVID, there's even more things I need to do like having my tests and isolate and because of COVID, I'm not actually allowed anyone like with me at all. And I might be staying overnight. So like that is making me really, really scared because last time I had an operation, I literally woke up after the general anesthetic. I was so nauseous. I had an allergic reaction to morphine, but like at least my parents were there. There's just so many little things on this to-do list and like I have to pack my overnight stuff and I don't wanna forget anything. I've just got a lot on my mind. I'm feeling really overwhelmed, really anxious. I'm getting a bit sad now knowing like I'm having to say no to a lot of things in terms of like social plans, Instagram stuff. My emails are literally flooded at the moment with offers from brands and like, I just like, I'm not even replying because I just can't take on any work and it's just very sad. So yeah, you guys can probably tell I'm feeling really overwhelmed at the moment, probably by the speed at which I'm talking. But I'm going to try and enjoy my last day of freedom, my last night of dinner with my friends. And I'll probably have a couple drinks because why not? I'm going to be fasting from Friday as well. So yeah, that's where we're at. Say hi to the vlog sim. Hello. It took us about an hour to find this place, but we're finally here. <laughs> this is Pagola. God. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm sorry I'm literally filming from bed because it's just the end of the vlog. <laughs> To be fair, like I'm feeling really anxious and as much as I wanted to have like an amazing week filled with so much fun and activities, like it's hard to have fun when you're just so scared and you're so anxious. And I'm actually someone that's really good at just like getting on with life and like pretending like I'm okay, but it's really hard to like have fun when you're actually just like not happy and you're actually really scared. And like I was in an Uber home today and I just literally broke down. I think it just all hit me like I'm actually having an operation in three days, a major one, I'm on my own. My knee is being cut open, sorry to be so um, vivid. My knee is literally being cut open and it's going to be a long road to recovery. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog anyway and like had some fun with me. And the next time you see me, I will have two, not just one two metal knees um but sending you guys lots of love and i'll catch you in my next video love you guys so much bye